G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure WDS and deploy a Windows 10 image. So to do this you must be a member of a Windows domain or Active Directory domain as you can see there. And I just like to have a static IP set just so I know where the server is and that it's not going to change. So as you see I've set that statically and I'm connected to the internet and everything. So first we're going to add the WDS role, just go to the add roles thing. You want to make sure it's a role or feature based installation. Select your server, which should be this server. Scroll down to the bottom and you should find the thing called WDS. Windows Deployment Services. Hit Add Features, Next. So then hit the Next button and Next and Next. In Role Services, make sure both of those are ticked. And then Install. So yeah, select the Tools button up the top right and the MDT window. Span this out, as you'll see, you've got to right click on the server and go Configure Server. Read through this stuff and just make sure everything's ticked off. Make sure that you're on a domain, that DHCP is going, that you have a DNS server and you have an NTFS partition to install, to store all of your drive images on. Once you've read through it and you know what it all means, just go down and select Next. You're going to want to be integrated with Active Directory and then say Next. So for the storage, you're going to need somewhere to actually store these files. So make sure that you have enough room to store them. It's not recommended to put it on the C drive, but just because it's a lab environment, I am just because it's for testing. If it was production, I wouldn't put it on the C drive. Find your place you want to store them and hit next. And it warns you about the C drive thing as well. So now you need to pick whichever option is most applicable. I'm going to pick this one because that's what I want it to do. Then it will configure the server. which will take a moment. Now, we're going to need to add the images. So browse to a file location. You're going to need the CD put in. So make sure you put in your CD for Windows 8, the Windows 8 CD. And then go to Sources inside of the CD and there'll be the Boot WIM and Install WIM files. We're going to add the install WIM because this is an install image and hit next. Tick which one you want. You might have multiple in here. You can add more than one if you need more than one or you can just have one if you're just installing one image across your organisation. So then hit next and it will take a while to check the integrity of the source file. And once that's finished, you can hit the finish button down the bottom. So now we need to add the boot image, right click on boot images and do the exact same thing that we did for the install image. And you can rename it if you want to rename it but we just leave it like that and that's fine. Hit the next button and next and then it will go through and verify that WIM file as well. Once that's finished verifying we can actually test this. This is the whole WDS configuration. So now you're actually ready to deploy a Windows 10 image to a test or production computer. We're going to test it out on a virtual machine just because my whole environment's virtual. So I'll just open up this machine and start it. Now this machine's on the same network, same subnet as the other machine as this, um, the WDS server. So as you see, it'll query DHCP. 
and it will take a little while to find it. While this is happening, you need to make sure you keep clicking F12 because you have to click F12 to get into the actual boot image because otherwise it'll flash up really quickly. So I'm hammering the F12 key right now. So as you see, it's found the server. I've hit F12 and it's saying that it's connecting to the server. And it's actually pulling down the um, installer image right now as we speak, or the boot image anyway, so it can boot to this server. Just say it's going to boot to that, boot slash x64 pxe boot dot wim. And you can see the IP address is the same IP address that we seen that it was statically set on the WDS server at the start of the video. So as you can see now we've got a working boot image and also it's starting the Windows 10 installer just like we would normally start it and as you see type in your language for the WDS boot image type in a username and password you can set an actual user for this but we're just going to use the administrator user because we're testing And then we will be able to select the image when it comes up. So then you select the image, hit next, and it'll start installing. Don't forget, like and subscribe to see more videos.